Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water inlet valve in a GE refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a quarter inch nut driver and a half inch open inlet wrench. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water inlet valve. The water inlet valve is located at the rear of the refrigerator at the bottom on the left side. It allows water that comes through the water filter to be sent to the tri-valve inside the French door to the ice maker and to the water dispenser based on demand. If water is not getting into the ice maker and the water dispenser, the water inlet valve should be checked and replaced if needed. To get to the part, we need to open this machine compartment cover. It's held in place by a few quarter inch screws. I can start from here. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. And now I can remove a panel. Lift it up. Well, as long as you remove the rear access panel, use the opportunity to clean the condenser coil. Vacuum it and then spray it with the soap. Let's place a towel underneath of the water inlet valve. And then make sure that you did close the water to the fridge. After that, I'm going to use a half inch open inlet range and I'm going to unscrew this connecting nut uh, counterclockwise. I'm going to pull out the towel from inside and I'm going to put it here, right there in the corner. And then I'm going to use the quarter inch nut driver and remove the screw that holds the water valve. And I'm going to pull it out. All right, as long as we have it out, we can uh, disconnect this water line. And I'm pulling it. And, and we had a huge shower coming out. That's good. It's a clean water. Nothing is better than the cold shower in the middle of work. Okay, so next I'm going to pull out the locking ring. That's it. And then we can press in the collar here and pull out the water line. And we're probably going to have a little bit of water coming out. And again, next step would be removing this uh, plug. And the valve is free. This is the old water inlet valve next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, so here's the new valve. I'm going to remove this uh, little plastic cap protecting the threads. And then we're going to go in the reverse order, installing it. You see the locking ring is already here. All we need to do is uh, press this water line in all the way. And then we can uh, connect the, uh, the plug. And if you notice, it was bent up a little bit, so we're going to do the same thing. Just like that. And we're going to place it in. And now the, uh, the in line, I'm going to push it in. And I'm going to lower down the nut. and. Uh, and start screwing it on, turning it clockwise. I'm going to tighten it manually as far as I can. I'm going to place the valve in. This little hook goes into this opening right there. Let's hold it in. We're going to secure it with this uh, quarter inch screw. Okay. And now I'm going to use this half inch open end wrench and we're going to tighten the nut. 
Okay, don't over tighten because we deal with the plastic. At this point, I'm taking the towel away. Now we're going to install the rear access panel. Uh, this, we have two brackets here that are going to clap over this uh, base and lock it at the bottom. And we're going to align the holes and we're going to start securing the panel. I'm using a quarter inch nut driver. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. 